sitting here with Sharon McRill, President Betty of the Betty Brigade. Sharon, what is the Betty Brigade? The Betty Brigade is a personal assistance and concierge service. We uh, take care of all kinds of different things for people. We do pet care, errands, organizing, we plan parties, we move people in and out of homes. We are what you call a very full service concierge. We do a lot of things that most concierge services don't do. And um, and we get excited about those odd jobs. It's really fun. I, there was okay. this organizing your home uh, type of odd job, which I thought was interesting. Actually, organizing is about 30% of our business, so it's not really an odd job. People, um, people call for organizing all the time. Say, for example, uh, you have a guest coming to your home and that spare room has become full of all kinds of stuff. Then you need somebody to come in and help you deal with the stuff. I mean, is it going to donation? Is it going into the basement? Is it, is it being shipped to your mother-in-law because it's stuff that she should have? I, it just really depends on what it is. And it strikes me as though it's as much an emotional process as it is a logical organizing process. It's very emotional. I, I'm glad that you brought that up. Actually, the staff, when they come to work for Betty Brigade, spends about three months training before they ever get to do organizing on their own. How did you get the idea to start the Betty Brigade? Well, uh, I was in corporate life for about six and a half or seven years, and I thought I was going to stay there because my parents had owned their own business and my grandparents had owned their own business, and I saw how hard they worked, and I, I was like, there is no way that I am going to do that with my life. I'm not going to work that hard. And so after about six and a half or seven years, um, I found out that me and about 70 people were getting laid off in a, in a large layoff from our corporate job. And I was so angry and upset and I felt betrayed because I thought I was going to stay there. But um, I was sitting at home and watching Oprah, living okay. one of she was sh you know showing one of those you know live your best life shows, and and it was a whole bunch of people who had started their own businesses, and I'm laying there under my blanket in a little fetal position, and and kind of watching this and and thinking, oh my gosh, um, I I could do that. I'm I'm smart enough to start my own business, not even thinking about what I just said to you that my parents and grandparents had worked right. so hard I was just like oh that's something I could do and so um, so I made a list of all the things that I personally knew how to do what I was good at okay and um, things like I'm really good at gardening um, I'm really good with pets I am a really good organizer and, and project manager and when we started it was just me it was just one person and and I um, I had my my little severance package. Um, it was small. It was about ten thousand dollars, and I had that money to live on, and I had it to start my business. And I thought, okay, well, if this doesn't work in one year, then I'm going to go out and find another corporate job. So, you so you had you had ten thousand bucks from your corporate job severance, and you had unemployment. And so you said, I'll start a business. Obviously, this had to be a low investment business. Correct. There's a very low barrier to entry in, into uh, most service-based companies. But I thought, well, gee, I can run this out of my house. All I really need is a phone and a computer and um, a copy machine. And so essentially, that's what I started with. And the business started in my dining room, and it, it kind of took over. And after we had two filing cabinets and two desks, and um, we were completely covering the dining room table with business stuff, uh, my first employee who came to me after 11 months, who, you know, I said, okay, it's time to hire an employee at the 11 month mark, she said, after about a year and a half of the business, she said, you know, it's getting really crowded in here. I, I think we need a bigger space. Um, so initially, I guess what you're doing is, is you're hiring yourself out. Correct. And, um, and then how long is it taking people to pay you? Are they paying you as the service is rendered? Are you able to get those kind of terms? Or are you having to give them a bill and then wait for some period of time for them to, you know, send you a check back in the mail? How did that work? In the beginning, what what I did was 
uh, most of the clients would pay at the end of each session. So I okay. had pretty constant cash flow. Okay. Um, as we grew and as we were seeing clients on a regular basis, say we were seeing someone four or five times a month, right. well, it became inefficient for us to be billing them every time we saw them. And so um, where we where we move now and where we are now is primarily, not, not in every case, because there still are clients who they don't want to receive a bill, and so they just want to pay at the end of the session, and that's just fine. But primarily we're on a monthly billing schedule. Okay, so, so I get a month's worth of services from you, and you send me a bill, and then I pay. Correct. Okay, so I don't pay up front for no. your services, no. and then, okay. The only time we take an upfront deposit is for our very large jobs. If we're estimating a job at five thousand dollars or higher, then we take half upfront. Okay. Okay. Uh, because I need to cover my initial pay for my staff because they're they're probably going to have a pay period before that final that final bill comes through. Okay, that's very good. So we're get, we're getting really what we're talking about are working capital issues right mm -hmm. here. And so let's think about financing growth, okay? So financing <laughs> startup is one thing, but how do you finance growth? Um, you know, I'm not I don't know that that there's any formula to finance growth and I think that's that's the challenge is that as you come into this medium stage of okay, I've got my business up and running and I'm and I'm working and I and I have some regular clients and I'm doing okay and then all of a sudden you realize that you need money to grow um, to, to take it to the next step, to maybe add more employees or add better software or more equipment or whatever it is you need, uh, that's, a, that's a big thing. And so you need to figure out, and we've done some different things. Um, there was, um, we, did a, we did a thing where we uh, pre-sold our hours uh, okay. to our clients. That was something that, that, we, that we used to um, bring in some capital for... Uh, for a big software upgrade. So you put that. So basically, you put the clients on some sort of plan. Okay? That's right. And maybe they get like a little discount for prepaying. Correct. Right? Okay. And Correct. So they could pre-purchase a year, and we gave them 10 percent off. Now, ten percent isn't a lot, but over the course of a year, it's that's at least one or two sessions. Right. And so that that. That was attractive, and we had several of our clients, and we targeted our best clients for this because we wanted to say we want to thank you, right. and by thanking you, you get a discount on this product and er, on this service, and and that was great. It worked out great, and we were able to finance a, a large software upgrade. Um, now, that's not, I don't think I would normally do that, okay. uh, but what what we're looking at now is we're going to... Um, we're talking to banks and we're saying um, we need a bigger credit line or we're talking to private investors and we're saying, are you interested in, in investing in a company that's growing 40% a year? And they get very excited about that because that's it, when you can show them that your company is doing this and you've done it with no money, up right. to this point, essentially, you're, the company is basically debt-free, and they can come in and boost the company up to bring in some infrastructure. That's a very exciting prospect for an investor.